A new report from the Washington Post says that in 2022, TikTok offered the U.S. government a deal that would give it unprecedented control of the app. The Biden administration ended up rejecting the deal. Hillary Vaughn explains. The Biden administration rejected a deal that would have given them partial control over TikTok, a compromise that TikTok thought might help them avoid an all out ban, but it didn't ultimately solve the problem, which is TikTok is owned by a Beijing based business, which means the Chinese Communist Party has influence over it. The Washington Post reports the deal on the table would give the US government veto power over each new hire at TikTok, let a defense contractor monitor TikTok's source code and give the feds a kill switch to shut down the app if anything were to go haywire. But a senior Biden administration official telling The Post the only acceptable option is completely cutting off TikTok from China for national security concerns, saying they, quote, determined more than a year ago that the solution proposed by the parties at the time would be insufficient to address the serious national security risks presented. It became clear that divestment from its foreign ownership was and remains necessary. Republicans say this half measure fix floated by TikTok would have made the U.S. operate just like the CCP. Why would we choose to do what TikTok has already done? And that is to give the government access. Time is ticking for TikTok to put themselves up for sale and find a buyer if they want to continue to be on smartphones in America. But instead of doing that, they are busy suing over the divestment order signed into law by President Biden. A U.S. appeals court in D.C. will be hearing the case and has fast tracked the process to get a ruling by December 6th, leaving time for the Supreme Court to weigh in if needed. Now, TikTok has until January 19th to divest to an American company or face a ban. In Washington, Hillary Vaughn, Fox News.